Hello again, Opus users. So I'm going to show you um, another technique using the Hersku module. So I go up to the analysis option at the top of the screen and I load Hersku fundamental segments. So this module is quite well suited to using um, when you want to group together similar rubrics. So the approach that I showed you in the last video of um, using the cross references that we have in the program uh, works very well here too. So the module says to take symptoms, just start typing. So I start typing mind, enter, and go to a rubric. So I can either type, or well now in Radar Opus 2, I can use the keys at the top here and then once you see the rubric that you'd like to go to um, you can click on it now notice here there's a cross references icon and also a concepts icon if you don't see those click the cog wheel for the preferences and make sure show the tags is selected close down the preferences click on that rubric so now you can see that we're in the absent-minded rubric and here are all the sub rubrics of it there's a take button here click on the drop down and choose as before take and specify the options also take cross references like we did before this time we're going to take them with all rubrics individually you can press enter to take now you'll see that they've gone into the clipboard there so press enter again and again and then you see in the module that all of those have gone in and then you can press enter to close it and we'll just name it absent-minded okay and then we press the plus button to add a new segment this is just like using another clipboard so what the module does is essentially each segment is like a group um, when you group rubrics in the normal way. And when you come to analyze, um, it will only bring three remedies that are present in at least one of those rubrics uh, of each segment. So the benefit of using this module is that you don't have to group them all into one and then not see all the constituent rubrics anymore. Okay, so start typing again press enter and choose another rubric and you can use the navigation buttons to move your way around so you don't have to use the mouse if you don't want to so now I'm in the rubric that I want to use so I go to the take button drop down take and specify the options take the cross references individually take and then enter three times check that it's got the right name that you want and then press OK OK and I'll show you one more so the plus button to add a new segment start typing the chapter mind going into the mind chapter mainly because there are more cross references so it's easier to show you this technique and type again fear enter and suddenly you see there's a cross references icon so we know that there will be some and then take specify the options cross references and then one two three four times pressing enter keep pressing enter and you eventually get there so if I click on this clipboard icon here you can see what all the rubrics are okay and this one goes back to the segments so what I will do now is just recall the um, full analysis that I've done and prepared for you so if you want to clear all the clipboards, you can right click and choose this one. Clear all clipboards, reset names, set current as default. Now the shortcut is command on a Mac or control on a PC, shift N. And you can just choose don't save. 
Right, so if you want to recall an analysis, you just right click on the clipboard again and recall analysis or command or control and then R and you can recall from a folder, from a patient or you can import one from um, a USB stick or from one that you've emailed to yourself. Okay, and then double click to load recall your analysis. So that's the full analysis there using six segments. If I go back up to analysis and load again the fundamental segments, I'll see all six. I can click on the double clipboard to check what is what's what. Here I have mistakes making again uh, even though I have it over here, so I can pick that up and drag it. So I can reorganize things so that it makes more sense. Okay, and then when you're happy, you can click on this icon here to go to the analysis. So it shows that there are five remedies present in all six of the segments. So you see here, those are all the hits for Cannabis Indica in the first clipboard, the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so down here you have smaller remedies or nosodes, and they're only present in five, but uh, interesting that they come through another, so it's cannabis, opium, psilocybin. So obviously there's a theme of drug remedies coming through with this um, example. So if you double click on a remedy, you go to the familiar keynotes page. Now the families tab here is really powerful and um, it's not immediately obvious why or how, but what you need to do is click on these drop down arrows for the kingdoms. And you can see that as you go through each level, you narrow down the choices of remedies. So you could look for this particular family by limiting the analysis. So those are all the other plants in that family. So walnut, oak, uh, that's oak gall, um, Hamamelis virginiana. So that's a very nice um, feature of our keynotes and families. But you can also choose a miasm. So click onto the miasm and then highlight this in the family, sorry, in the analysis. So you can use more than one family. You can use a miasm and a kingdom. Okay, and then back to the keynotes page. As I showed you before, you can search in Google using Jan Shelton's website, Cure. And from there, you can also access family information. Okay, and you can again, you can go back through and check what the family information is as you get more general. So you could look at the whole group of the Fabidi. Okay, I think that's probably it for today. Thanks for watching.